Amagi Metals, where financial freedom is yours. Hey, what's up, y'all? Pete here. The video you're going to see is uh, happened a few days ago when I was in Farmington Hills, Michigan, just northwest of Detroit when we were in the area as part of the police accountability tour. It's nothing too groundbreaking, admittedly. It's just a conversation between myself and uh, Perry Edgel, a uh, detective at uh, Farmington Hills Police. But I thought it worthwhile to share just to demonstrate how you know, I think it's better to approach anybody, including police employees, as individuals, not as a monolith and not saying, I don't like you because you happen to work at the specific industry or occupation, but instead to see that everybody's a person. And, you know, it's it could be that a police employee may never have been exposed to ideas uh, that suggest that the provision of good, uh, sorry, the good or service of safety or security could better be provided than it's, it's currently structured. Well, it was 8 p.m. in Farmington Hills, Michigan, just working from a place. Saw a police employee out here circling the lot by my truck. So I thought I'd uh, come see what was going on. How you doing, sir? Right, good. You uh, doing any work in the area, or? Uh, can I, what do you mean? I'm just, I was in the coffee shop, I just saw you. No, I just saw your truck. Oh yeah. Yeah, we try to inform people about the riots, encourage them to stand up for the riots and support each other. You may have heard a cop watch in the past, but they've been around They've been around since 1990. I think I have heard of cop watch. Yeah, so cop block's a little more recent, but it tends to use uh, like uh, social networks and, um, you know, just getting people together, uh, sharing the, the ideas and just trying to create a better reality. Are you working on a degree of some type? Is this part of a sociology? So what I think is important, I think it's a timely issue and it's worth having the conversation today. How, I mean, does, it, how does it support you, not to be too, to try too sure. much, how does it support you financially? <laughs> I don't know, not not too well, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah. I don't know, it's, uh, I mean we have like hoodies some people pick up, shirts, some people donate, but pretty much it's uh, real grassroots and bottom up. It's not, uh, you know, a C3 or anything like that, not don't uh, feel the need to ask for anybody's permission. Business card with the website? Yeah, I could give you one of each of these. I have a uh, uh, Know Your Rights flyer, so it's pretty broad. And then uh, and that one, and then this one is just uh, kind of a more related to what, why I'm in town right now. There's myself and my colleague are doing a, a tour. So we're going to nine cities. Everybody likes to be safe and they like to be protected and how is that good or service best provided and for me personally I don't think it's through you know I think choice is good for any good or service and today people are told to pay for a you know an agency that says they're the sole provider of safety or protection so I try to point to uh, other scenarios that might be a little better for all involved so. well have a good day thank you for yeah I appreciate it yeah my name is Pete by the way Perry Edgel. Perry Edgel, good to see you. Take care. All right, yep, you as well. I will. All right, All right. instead of be safe, you could say make it safe. Do you know the Threat Management Center in Detroit? Okay, well, pretty soon on the site we'll have some content up with them. One of the people involved, instead of saying, like, uh, be safe, he says make it safe. So you or I or somebody could be the instrument to help defuse the situation and make that situation safe. Yeah, whereas be safe might say, I'm going to stay over here while something's happening. Well, if you interjected a Back. Unless you're coming to render aid to an officer who's struggling with somebody. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to, uh, yeah, make sure nobody's getting, nobody's rights are getting harmed. That's that's my prerogative. All right. All right. Yep. You too. Have a good night. It is worth having a conversation and sharing ideas because you never know. Um, it could be the first time someone is exposed to that particular uh, mindset, and it could be life changing. So, you know, we've seen police employees start to speak out against. Uh, uh, let's see, drug, the drug prohibition and some other things. So if, if we all continue to do a little bit, um, you know, maybe we'll see more police employees speak out against corrupt and heavy-handed colleagues, and then more police employees uh, realize that the institution they work for is based on coercion and thus can never be provide justice or never be accountable. And uh, we can start working towards the uh, development and application of uh, real alternatives such as what we saw in Detroit with Dale Brown's Threat Management Center.